Ignore your instincts at your peril. Hello and welcome to WMT Reviews, I am Wiseman Zanofsky, and today we're taking a look at Star Wars The Clone Wars Series 1, Episode 9, Cloak of Darkness. Thirteenth chronological episode in the series, Cloak of Darkness continues where Bombad Jedi left off, with the captured Viceroy Gunray being transferred into the custody of Ahsoka and Jedi Master Luminara Unduli, voiced by Olivia Darbo. However, Count Dooku dispatches Asajj Ventress to retrieve the prisoner, and while the Jedi battle the assassin, a turncoat from within the Senate Guard reveals himself, and Gunray is lost to the enemy. The series recovers very well, very quickly after the questionable previous episode, with this well-paced and well-structured story, highlighting the cowardice of the Federation Viceroy, the unconventional brilliance of Anakin's young apprentice, and the truth that enemies lay in wait all around, with the revelation of Senate Guard Captain Argus as the traitor. The action sequences as the droid attacks the ship are exciting and gripping, but what really sells this episode is Ventress, on her own, infiltrating the ship. For the first time, her abilities as an assassin are fully highlighted as she makes her way past clones, droids, and even the Jedi to reach her objective, making her more than just another antagonist with a lightsaber and legitimizing the threat she poses. The twist revelation of the traitor among them came completely out of nowhere, and I appreciate that. Working with the very well choreographed duel sequence to create a thrilling episode. The episode sees the introduction of the calm and peaceful Jedi Master Luminara, and perfectly portrays her character as the wise and patient Jedi Master. Much like her portrayal in the previous animated series, Luminara's character is well-balanced and soothing, playing well off Ahsoka's action-first demeanour. No doubt this serves to further the Padawan's training by having her spend time with different kinds of Jedi, and the two work very well with one another during the final confrontation with Ventress. Buffy antagonist James Masters plays the double-crossing Captain Argus very well, never once hinting at his character's true motives until the twist is revealed. A great storytelling technique and a great performance by Masters. As I say, it's Nika Futterman's Asajj Ventress who steals the show in my opinion. The episode highlights her unique ability for infiltration and her mastery of impressive physical control, while also spotlighting her rash and undisciplined fighting style when she faces Master Luminara. We see a new dynamic form between her and her master Dooku in the episode's first act, seeming to have to prove herself in his eyes following her recent failures, which makes me wonder if she may be a part of some scheme to defeat Darth Sidious in the future. I hope the series builds on this. Speak of the devil and he shall appear, as this episode also features the first appearance of my favourite Star Wars villain of all time, with Ian Abercrombie as the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious himself. And though he appears only via communicator, his commanding and insidious presence is still felt by everyone. Overall, I felt this episode picked up very successfully from the last, with a more mature and action-based story, some intriguing and surprising characters, and a much darker tone, with Ventress murdering Argus after the traitor fulfilled his part. And like Grievous' execution of the Scavenger in the previous story, it helps make a firm statement that this show, while being suitable for kids, is no kiddie series. Unafraid to embrace the dark nature of the universe it stems from. So for that, I would award the episode a very satisfactory 7.5 on the Orsometer. A thoroughly entertaining continuation with some great twists, great action, and a satisfying conclusion. So that is a 7.5 on the Orsometer for Star Wars The Clone Wars Series 1, Episode 9, Cloak of Darkness. I've been Wiseman Tanofsky, this has been WMT Reviews, thank you very much for listening.